Hello friends, welcome to this session. In this video, we will be discussing how we can balance any chemical equation. We will explain this with the help of an example and later you can follow this sure shot trick to balance any equation. This is the best trick to learn balancing of equations. Let us now begin and start learning balancing of chemical equations. First, we will understand that what is the meaning of a balanced chemical equation. So children, a balanced chemical equation is the one which has the same number of atoms of elements on both sides of the equation. That is, the total mass of the elements present in the products of a chemical reaction has to be equal to the total mass of the elements present in the reactants. It would not be wrong to say that mass is neither created nor destroyed in any chemical reaction. Let us now try to understand balancing with the help of an example. Take the reaction of iron with water which produces iron oxide and hydrogen. Let us examine the number of atoms of different elements on both sides of the arrow. Now, we can observe that the number of iron atoms on LHS is 1 and on RHS is 3. The number of hydrogen atoms on LHS are 2 and on RHS are also 2. And finally, oxygen atoms which is 1 on LHS and 4 on RHS. It is often convenient to start balancing with the compound that contains the maximum number of atoms. Or we can also balance the metal or non-metal first, then oxygen and hydrogen. It must be remembered that we cannot alter the formulae of the compounds or elements involved in the reactions. First, we try to balance Fe3O4 and the element oxygen in it. To balance the oxygen atom, we can put coefficient 4 as 4H2O. But remember, we cannot write H2O2 or H2O, the whole 4, like these. Fe and H atoms are still not balanced. Fe has one atom in LHS and 3 atoms in RHS and H has 8 4 by 2 at LHS and 2 atoms at RHS. So to balance the hydrogen atom, the number of H2 molecules on the right side to be 4. Now to balance iron, on the left side we take 3 atoms of iron. Finally, let us examine this balanced equation. There are 3 atoms of iron, Fe, 8 atoms of hydrogen, H, and 4 atoms of oxygen, O, on both the sides. Now the number of atoms of elements on both sides of the equation are equal. So this equation is balanced now. That is, mass has neither been created nor destroyed. Therefore, the number of atoms of each element is equal before and after the reaction. Friends, as we said, it requires rigorous practice to learn to balance equations. Therefore, you should practice it more and more. For this, we are giving you some unbalanced equations. Stop the video and balance them with the method described and then match your answer. After this exercise, you will be able to easily balance any equation yourself.
Friends, remember to balance any equation. First, the metal, non-metal, then oxygen and hydrogen have to be balanced. We hope that with this trick, you will be able to easily balance the most difficult equations. So friends, today in this video, we studied how to balance the chemical equation. In the next video, we will learn about the types of chemical reactions.